So last time in the comment section down below, you guys asked me to talk about Genji, so here we are. And if you'd like to see any other character in the future, please make sure to comment down below the character and the player, and whoever gets the most upvotes, I'll try to talk about next. Anyways, let's just get straight onto some of the tips from Linkster's Genji, and straight off from the beginning, we actually saw that you can play Genji on defense. I don't feel like it's the most powerful thing, but you definitely can go for it. Genji is just so versatile that... Well, it's kind of hard to play, um, you can do it, you can get off picks like we saw right there, you can finish people off, you can pick off the support, protect your backline as we see right now, you can do a lot of this character on defense, and don't be afraid to pick him. Um, it is harder than most of the characters on defense, but it is a possibility for yourself. Um, of course as well, I want to say right now, when the enemy team is pushing up, we are actually coming to help our backline, that's something you gotta do. Just continuously diving the enemy backline won't do you much on your own defense, you gotta kinda protect your own and try to kill people that are diving your own backline before you dive theirs, at least on defense. Genji this season in general though, I'm gonna say, is a pretty good pick actually. While he does struggle a little bit against Pharah and Junkrat, you can outplay them both, and you can still beat both of them. And I've seen a lot of games where Genji's just maul straight through those characters. Again, I'd say it's one of those things where it's kind of hard to do, but it's it's definitely doable. Um, early on, we see right here, you know, we're trying to go for whoever we can. As far as your ultimate goes, it's a thing that's very important to try to get. You want to get it as fast as possible, so essentially you want to spam as much as you possibly can to get your early ultimates. Just all the time in team fights. Spam out damage for 14 fights. Right here, you see yourself walking in front of everybody, and that's what you should be trying to do. In this meta, I want to go back to that for a second. Um, of course, we have Tracer and Genji. Those are probably some of the best heroes to kill Mercy, especially when she's not ulting. So please do try to abuse that. And try to maybe save your ult sometimes to when the Mercy is actually ulting. Because you can one-shot the Mercy, essentially, if you're ulting. If you get a few shots and then you ult, swift strike, you can kill her. So <laughs> make sure to keep that because otherwise you aren't going to really win the team fight. But if you do save that ability for the Mercy, you definitely can win that team fight. Speaking of team fights, we see one right here. In every single team fight, Linker's Linkser <laughs> walks above them, or I guess jumps above them, goes immediately after the Mercy, and then tries to finish off whoever else he can find. Um, who he's targeting as far as his blade goes, just essentially, again, the Mercy first, and then maybe the other support, and then he just goes after whoever is closest to him, which is kind of just what you want to do. Um, you want to make sure that you aren't overextending though. I see a lot of Genjis that just swift strike way into the open. The enemy team still has a McCree or a soldier or a tracer or something. And they're just going to kill you from there. So don't do that. Uh, right there we saw ourselves deflecting of course. As Genji with your deflect. Wait a second. So then you kind of know that you aren't going to waste it. So you know you can actually get out. And make sure to walk backwards a little bit before you start deflecting. Um, that can save you quite a bit. Uh, as we continue down here you know. As far as ulting again. You want to make sure that you either aren't a man down. Or you have someone else to combo with. Because your ultimate while it is very powerful. If they still have like their mercy healing up everybody on their team, often you can't really kill them. And especially if you're down a man and the enemy team has a mercy healing and your team does not have the mercy healing, it can be kind of hard. Luckily for us right now, you know, our team's doing really, really well. Um, I think they get to pick off the mercy. Right there, I think is a good thing to kind of keep for yourself though. If you aren't close enough to immediately one-shot that mercy and if you don't think that the enemy mercy is going to be hit by your swift strike, don't waste your entire ultimate trying to go after her. Just hit the people closest to you try to kill them, and if you get the opportunity to, let's say, kill somebody and then swish strike on the enemy mercy and then go on from there, take it, but don't overextend for that. That's going to lose you a lot of fights on defense. On offense, I'd say you can be more risky, be more liberal like that, but on defense, you have to be very conservative with really just everything you're doing. Again, in this team fight, we're jumping above them, we're trying to get melees because that hits all the people at once, charging up for ultimate, getting a swift strike in there, you know, doing whatever you possibly can do as Genji. As always, left click gives you the most far range damage, but right click does give you a lot more just burst damage. So that's how you essentially use those things. Pretty obvious things to, I guess, begin with. But, you know, other things to remember. Uh, this game as well, we do see that they, uh, the enemies this game do have a Winston. And Winston does counter you if you fight him alone. But if you actually fight him with a lot of your teammates, especially when you're ulting, you can beat him semi-easily. Um, he could just be out-healed by, like, you know, Mercy, Anna, whatever. Uh, even kind of Zenyatta a little bit. So, remember that while you should be afraid of that character, you shouldn't just run away the second you see him. You still can do a little bit against that guy. Again, right now we're going to see another team fight, you know, jumping in, getting her ultimate off there, trying to kill whoever you can. As always, don't hit the Zarya when she's shielding, whatever like that. Unfortunately, overextend just a little bit this time, but do get rezzed. 
And I'd say almost the second you get rezzed, um, if the enemies are still alive and everything, just instantly go for that reflect. Sure, you might sometimes waste it, especially if there's no one next to you. But if you know that there's a lot of people next to you, just don't take the risk. Just reflect, maybe make sure that you're looking at the enemies so you can actually reflect all the damage, and then try to Swiss strike out. The res is just so powerful, you don't want to waste it like that. Um, especially if you push up quite a bit, which you kind of have to do as Genji. It's something you want to keep in mind. This game, as Genji though, this player is actually doing something which is nice, which is getting such a high amount of poke that he actually has gold damage. Of course, Genjis do often have gold damage, but a lot of times people just have trouble getting it as him, because of course he doesn't have that consistent damage like a Junkrat or a Pharah or a Soldier or something. But if you do continuously poke, continuously try to get your ultimate, continuously go for a few picks, you can get that gold damage and I guess feel good about yourself, but mainly just get a lot of ultimates up super quickly. So it's getting pretty close to the end of the first round. The offense did push pretty far, you know, not way too bad. All right, now jumping on to the Zarya, and then after that, I think just again jumping around in the team fight, trying to hit whoever we can. I'm really using corners. That's the thing you kind of want to do as Genji, very similarly to uh, I think Reaper and Tracer and all those characters. You kind of got to use corners to protect your team. Right here, a good idea that you can actually do is walk right in front of the enemy DPS, and if it's something again like a Junkrat or a Soldier or something, walk up. Uh, deflect you can stop him that can actually win you a fight um and, and i guess the final thing i'm gonna say that i did see this game is that when you are against a tracer don't immediately swift strike at them try to get a bit of poke with them because you can poke her more than she can poke you because you just have a little bit more health um and then from there you know wait until she's close to you to swift strike melee and try to kill her like that because otherwise she's just kind of gonna get away um so make her i guess overextend for you and then go in from there at the beginning of this game, we see, you know, our Genji player going for that high ground, trying to get picks. Unfortunately, we saw right there, if Mercy's healing somebody, you can't really kill them. You can kill the Mercy often, but in that case, we couldn't even kill the Mercy because there was a soldier there. So, don't try to kill Mercy who's getting healed by a soldier health pack for the most part. Um, and don't just really go for the characters that are being healed 100% by the Mercy. Go for other people, go for people that your teammates are going after, and try to just finish off kills. Because Genji can finish off kills super well. Right there, we chase that guy down, gotta pick him off, and... Yeah, you can just finish off the first point, stall for time for our teammates. Um, that's the thing you might want to keep in mind. It is a good idea to stand on the point and try to get as fast as possible. But as well, if you can push up past the point a little bit, it allows for your team to just get quite a bit more time for it to be pushed up. And um, to make sure that the enemies aren't going to get some really weird jank uh, last second cheese on you. That can actually happen uh, quite a bit. It's kind of annoying, but it can happen quite a bit. Right now, we're going up above again, you know, trying to get any poke that we possibly can. When you are up above, do just try to get picks, try to get a man advantage. Unfortunately, the Tracer on this team did get picked up there, which can happen to you sometimes. And if you aren't next to your Mercy, that's especially bad for you. Right now, we see the Genji doing a smart idea again. I'm um, actually going after the back line without his ultimate fully charged because he knows that it's so close to being fully charged that at any second, he can jump back there, finish off that ultimate, and try to finish off whoever. Unfortunately, again, we saw Mercy's kind of hard to kill ulting, and I don't even know she's ulting right there. She's just flying about. Um, especially if your team's down. If you're down any members, you aren't really going to kill that Mercy. You do need help killing her because your combo just doesn't quite one-shot her, which is unfortunate, but kind of what you have to play with. Um, and during that team fight as well, we saw that um, Link Linkser actually did tell his team that his blade was ready. And please make sure that you don't blade before you tell your team that it's ready because it's a great thing to combo with your team. And if you just go for it out of the blue, sure, it might do well, and sure, you might be able to get a pick or two by yourself, but it's much better to go in with your team so that the enemy team can't just turn around and target you all at once. Right there is an amazing deflect. Jump in the back line, pop off <laughs> literally on everybody. And there's the power of Genji that we all know and love. Uh, that's probably one of the best plays I've seen in a long time about this character. And I think that was like a Hexakill or whatever. We got everybody on their team. Did did pretty well right there. Um, We also saw in that team fight that... Linkster did go after people that were at like half HP first, Swift Strike on them, and then it reset the Swift Strike so he got about like 100 or 200 damage off those multiple Swift Strikes, um, as well with his main just Dragon Blade. Remember how much damage that ability does and how it can reset, um, and just kind of focus around getting resets, especially if you see like two supports next to each other. If it's a Mercy and a Zen and the Zen is at eight, uh, half HP, go after the Zen first, try to hit both uh, with your Swift Strike, and then from there, of course, just hope that, you know, you can kill the Zen, you can jump on the Mercy from there, she'll already be down 50 HP, and you can hopefully kill her as well, because now she'll be only at 100 HP with, and if you have your ultimate, I guess, you can press the ult button and one-shot that Mercy. So, there you go, that's kind of your priorities and how that kind of works. Oh, we're finishing it off right now, you know, jumping around. 
Uh, one thing I want you guys to kind of look at and think about is that he's always playing around corners and mainly always playing around diagonal corners. Like he's jumping up <laughs> around this corner that we see right here. I think he's taken out pretty early, unfortunately for us. But he jumps up around the corners and shoots down at the enemies from above and diagonally from above. So the Reinhardt can't really block away too well. Even Arissa couldn't really block away too well. Just kind of anticlimactically get this final point, but. That's a good way to just, I guess, stall for a lot of damage and to be really hard to be able to be killed. Of course, did die to that other Genji ultimate, but in general, it's pretty hard to deal with. But anyways, as always, guys, that's just my own ideas and opinions about this gameplay. If you have your own ideas or your own stuff that you saw that you thought was really good, uh, make sure to leave that in the comment section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, I guess. Press the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future, and please... Comment down below if you want to see in the next video. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day. I'd like to thank Gilda.gg for sponsoring this video and mainly helping me a lot through the adpocalypse. So, Gilded itself is a website focused on finding, founding, and expanding your gaming team with relative ease. You can schedule events, recruit new members, build team comps, and find teams to scrim with and to scrim against. Best of all to you guys, it's free. You can get started yourself with the link in the description below, and if you sign up by November 10th, you'll be entered into a chance to win a $50 Blizzard gift card. So, maybe I'll see you there.